Hey, mission on, don't stand on the right step. <clears throat> plan is to run it, run, pull it all out, use it as a template without breaking it. We're ready. No, we're not. So we have to. Wait, I've done that much, you only took half an hour. <laughs> exactly. Not the reason why we're taking up the floor in here is so we can take it into the new van and mark all the positions where the rails have been without having to take the wood floor up. So quick change of plan. We're going to put two pieces of wood either side of that and then clamp it with some G-clamps and then we're going to ratchet strap it to the top and keep ratcheting until it pulls it up. Where there's a will there's a way because that's way too difficult to pull on our own. We'll be there all day literally. We've reached a point where we can't pull it any further with the straps. So what we plan on doing is lifting the front, clamping that down, running the straps to the back, and pulling the front backwards. Hopefully this won't stretch too much and we'll be able to use it as a perfect template for the new van. Right, so now that's marked out, we can take it out, throw it away. Namely, back in the old van. And then we can start cutting. We've been on board a tool, especially for the job. So just to give you an idea of what it will be like, that is a piece of tracking in the floor. Now that will just want drilling through and bolting down. We'll put some plates underneath it to stop the bolts from ever pulling out. But they should be now exactly straight. And measured out for the rear as well. 
All right, part two. Final second part of boarding. That's not actually screwed up just yet. All right, Connor, say hello. Hello. All these sides, and then finishing up, folding down the flooring, which we've got now. All the bolts and everything. so that they come, come straight through and fit flush with the floor and that bit is done. It's just 
the real score now. down yet. I'll mark them out, lift the wood, drill all the tech screws in, put the wood back down, done. Well that worked nicely. All we've had to do is to get these located in the right spot so that they fit through the wood but then be able to screw them down securely. We had to fix them down somehow but we couldn't because uh, obviously the screws are underneath the wood. So I've drilled a tiny hole through both of them, you can see it there, and then lifted it, put a screw in so that the rails don't move, put it back down, stomped it into place, and now they're all fitted and in place, ready for rest of the screws. So now it's just a case of drilling, screwing in, and that part's done. There's a few dozen tech screws, hold them all down. Alright, that's them screwed down. I got the original shackles in. <coughs> that holds down the floor so there's no more bouncy. It's not bouncing anymore. Just got a bit of a clean up to do. Oh, we've got to cut the floor for these as well. These are going to go in the original bolt holes, the original shackle holes. We're doing away with these. And just putting the rail down. Just much more versatile. Then, we're going to cut out a part of the boarding on the side so that handlebars will fit in further and it gives us a bit more span when we're collecting and delivering bikes uh, the handlebars won't clash as much.
drilled just need some assistance so I can get underneath the time of the nuts with some more call the tops I'm not even sure if that is coming out if anybody knows what that phenomenon is Slight change of plan. We've got a light come on dashboard on the other van. Um, so I've had to accelerate things a little bit. We've got to fit the chocks and get this ready for work so we can go to work tomorrow and we can get the other one off the road, get the lights fixed. But I'm not ready to give in. evenly it does that while, the, while you're in transit and the bike never falls but it's it's not good to have them moving around at all while we're in transit and that's only a rare occurrence um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an extra button on the bottom there so it locks completely into place but I'm not going to put an underhanging washer underneath it I'm just going to have a bolt just a stud to stop it from, from moving forward and backward. So drill through that, drill through that one, bolt in, not on the back. Done.
modification complete. I am filthy and sweaty. But just sweep up, tidy up. We've still got that rail to put in on that side, but I need that welding first. So we'll try and do that. But it's Monday today. This fan's gonna work tomorrow, so I can get the uh, light put out on the other van. Uh, and the repair's done. This one will be coming off the road on Wednesday to let the other van work again. So then hopefully we'll get that rail welded in. Um, and we can start to get the carpet in on the walls. Gotta screw that panel back on. Ship shape. These are gonna be the two bikes loaded onto the van. First ones. There's one more video to do, which is gonna be the non-slip flooring and the carpet on the inside. We might, we might just be putting sign writing on this van. Uh, it's just too nice not to have uh, a big specialised motorcycle transport emblem on the side of it uh, so you can all see we're coming. The only way you'll get notified is if you subscribe. Oh, strapped in. Nice and versatile. Perfect system. The perfect system for strapping in bikes. To make it a little bit short of the video, I didn't show you the underneath of it. How I bolted it in. Uh, it took two people and it was difficult to film anyway. And it would have just got too long, it would have been boring. Going nowhere, guys. But uh, when we get it back off the road, we'll have a, a bar welded in there and another rail so we can put the track in down. But yeah, that's it. Just carpeting and ceiling to go. Oh, well, flooring, obviously. Non slip flooring. You can see how we can move these around, look. There you go. Hey, so almost done. I think that deserves a subscription. Go and subscribe. Go and subscribe here. Here, on your phone there on your PC. Do it.